Abrigado! Thank you for joining the Traveling Dirty Show. Yes, we're from Rollins, Wyoming, and uh, the first thing I want to say is we did a side trip to Laramie to go see a Rush movie, and it was awesome. Uh, we'll talk a little more about that, and maybe there will be a few Rush Easter eggs throughout our video this week. Mm. You can never tell. Uh, so, Rollins. <laughs> Yes, Left uh, Provo, Utah, uh, uh -huh. drove to Rollins, Wyoming. Yes. Um, if you've ever seen a postcard of Wyoming, that's exactly what it looks like. It's very uh, pretty. Very pretty. Lots wide of open just spaces. Wide open grass, hills, mm -hmm. rivers running through it. Uh, yes. Very beautiful place. Uh, nice drive along the way. It was gorgeous going through from outside Salt Lake into Wyoming, uh, the Fire, what, Fire Gorge, Gulch? Um, yeah, its name was funnier than that. We'll figure it out. Flaming Beautiful, Gulch. Though. It was the Flaming, Flaming Gulch. Gulch. That's, that's what it, it was. See, that's funnier. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, yeah, so we stopped at the, uh, Red Desert Rose Campground. Yes. Um, deer in it, like, every day. Uh, deer in downtown Rollins. Everywhere mm -hmm. you went, there was deer. Uh, it was just uh, kind of crazy how many deer there were running around that place. Yeah, they weren't phased by us, by the dogs, by other people. Um, yeah. The dogs actually weren't too phased by them either. But no, I saw two huge deer. bucks uh, one night taking the dogs to the dog park, and we just walked like 10 feet in front of them, and they just kind of... The, the funniest one the was, was the one on the putt-putt grounds the first night. And he was standing, there were little, I don't know, cement structures of different animals. And he was standing over to the side of where one was. And he just kind of froze and stood up. And the putt-putt grass was kind of under his legs. So it was one of those moments yeah. of, if I freeze, they'll think I'm part of the putt-putt. Yeah, so the putt-putt was made up of like a monkey and a rhino and all these other mm, animals that you lion. had to put into. And so you're like, wait, that one's real. Yeah. So <laughs> it was definitely kind of funny. Um, so... One of our trips, uh, like I said, Rush did a one-night-only movie, Cinema Strangiato. Uh, so my wonderful wife helped us uh, book a hotel and book the dogs and uh, boarding. We drove to Laramie and went and watched the movie. Um, not a whole lot of pictures. We were right next door to University of Wyoming. Yes. So we saw that um, our hotel was here. Uh, in the parking lot was a barbecue place right here. And right here was the movie theater. So that's about the traveling distance we did in Laramie, uh, about a hundred feet total. Uh, but it was fun night. It was fun. It was um, fun. We had I a great time it. at the bar. We have to tell a quick story at the bar. Uh, we went to this barbecue place <laughs> and as we're walking in, there's a crazy lady that's like brought her own wine cup from home and a sippy, sippy cup. cup and she's waving at us like she's known us forever. And we're like, guy, and Maggie walks in, and I was finishing a smoke, and I remember that, uh, I don't remember what song it was, but it was a Eurythmics song, and it came on, and she's like, oh my god, isn't this one of the greatest bands of all time? And I just put my smoke out and went, I can't talk to you, and went inside. Um, so we're there about 30 minutes, and yeah. she comes into the bar with her sippy cup and her wine glass she brought from home, and takes a seat next to this poor guy at a bar. Uh, proceeds to talk to him for like oh. an hour and when I say talks to him and like not a conversation She was loud too. She thought she was yeah. using her inside voice. The guy said five <laughs> words. She talked the other 59 minutes uh, When she finally left the guy gets up off his bar stool and he kind of turns around and he's got this look like a boxer That's just been hit in the face like five times his eyes are kind of rolling up in his head and he's a little dizzy and off balance and we're looking at him like, do you know her? And like, never met her in my life. I'm like, oh, I'm going to buy you a drink, dude, because you, you deserve it. Yeah. Um, so his name was Morgan, uh, and he told us about this little Mexican food that he claimed had the best sopapillas on the planet. And mm -hmm. he might have been right. We did go there and check that yes. out. In um, Sinclair, in Sinclair, Wyoming. Sinclair, Wyoming, right next to Rollins, and it's the huge Sinclair gas yes. refinery is pretty much all the town is. Uh, and a little place called Sucasa that serves Mexican food. It was food. very good food. Very, very good. good food. Yeah. Um, so speaking of food, yeah. Um, yeah. What else did we we ate at just about mm -hmm. every? Rollins oh, yeah. is very small, small so we ate at almost every restaurant in Rollins, all three or four yes. of them. 
Um, so what what uh, what do we have there? Uh, so our first night we got there and we were a little tired and we were kind of craving some steak, something kind of yummy. So we went to Big Michael's Bar and Grill there in Rawlings and we had our first ever tomahawk steak. You should see a picture of that now. It was amazing, very good. We shared it because it was so large. Yes. Um, and had fries and stuff with it. And a little mini burrito or chimichanga comes with every meal there. So yeah. we had that. A chimichama, chimichama? Chimichanga. Chimichama hawks. Chimichanga. Chimichanga. There mm -hmm. we go. Uh, yes. That was their garnish. Uh, okay. So you had like a 64 ounce steak with a garnish of a burrito on the and side, basically. Crap yeah. of fries. Uh, so we had that one night, and then we went for Sunday brunch at a place called Cappy's. Food was decent. It was normal breakfast food, really slow service, but they Bloody warned Marys. us. The Bloody Marys were phenomenal. So, yeah. And they had this nice garnish and the best bacon I've ever had. Oh, my God, it was so yeah, good. It bacon was, in the, was awesome. in the Bloody Mary. So we had that while we waited for our food. So that was really good. Um, we went to, to Buck's, which was a sports bar and grill in downtown Rawlings. Really good nachos. Yeah, I had a burger cheesy, there. Very good. Good burger um, there. We also ate at uh, Rose's Lariat, another little yes. Mexican place. That was also very was good, good food. It was, there, uh, yeah. you fit about seven people in there. Yeah, really, small really small. Really small, really small. Um, a little bigger than our RV. <laughs> <I'm> yeah. <joking>. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, they had this uh, really good green chili. It wasn't like a normal hatch in New Mexico green chili that you're used to. Uh, it had like potatoes in it and stuff. It was it had green chilies, but I, it was just different the way they made it. It was still really good. So it was different Mexican food than what we we're used to. And so we ate there. We ate at the Pepper Mill and had uh, rattlesnake bites, they called it. It was just, uh, it was actually really good. It was tater tots that had a little bit of onion, jalapeno, and cheese mixed in them. Yes. And then we ate there another night and um, had some really good food. Brisket. Uh, brisket. Yeah, some very good really barbecue huge brisket Huge servings, there. really good. Um, and then I think we covered them all. Oh, West uh, West Side Cafe. We had panini breakfast there and muffins yes. one morning. I did not go there. I woke up to that. That was nice. You're welcome. Yes, thank you. Uh, and so our big trip, uh, we're actually going to be doing a couple weeks in Rollins. So um, the first big thing we're doing is the state penitentiary uh -huh. tour. Um, cool. So that was very cool. Um, the thing was uh, built before Wyoming was a state. Yes. Uh, I asked the tour guide like what was kind of the average crime uh, that people were put in there for. She said it was the only prison they had, so it was it anything was everything. from yeah writing a bad check to murder and anything in between. Um, learned about the uh, gallows pole and how that was actually created, um, and got to sit in the gas chamber. Yes, and there were women. <laughs> yeah, he smiled the whole time. So creepy. I don't know. It just um, made me laugh being in the gas chamber. Oh my god! It was interesting to learn about there were women in the prison too, but they kept the women in a different area, um, a higher floor, and they didn't get to go outside like the men did, and they had different um, meals than the men. So the men never really knew they were women were in the prison being jailed. Um, the women's jobs were to sew and mend the uniforms or the the outfits that the prisoners war so that was interesting to hear the the ladies were just kind of stuck there you no know, outside time and stuff is it was interesting yeah. uh, a ton of very cool stuff there yes. um, a lot of prisoner uh, art that they had mm -hmm. uh, of course there was a whole collection of different shanks and knives and everything um, we're recording with That's the dogs art too. Yeah, that is art, um, be art. yeah so we're recording with the dogs in the room today. You can't see them, but if you listen closely, you'll hear Taz licking himself nonstop. Oh, hey, hey, buddy. Oh, hi, buddy. Hey, You're buddy. On video. Look, say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Hi, Taz. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the gallows pole, the prisoner art. Um, mm -hmm. There was a piece of art in the dining room. Yes. Uh, there was like two bighorn sheep. I'm going to try and put these up on the video, and it was one of these creepy things where... The sheep are looking at you. Uh, so we started like on this side of the dining hall and went all the way around to the other and like the sheep keep looking at you the whole way. And I tried to take some pictures like every few steps and we'll see if that uh, translates onto a video here. Hope it does. That'd be cool, uh, yeah. Super yeah. creepy. Uh, they so also had another uh, painting that it was, I don't think I got a picture of it that came out good, but it was well, uh, the, railroad. the railroad tracks. Uh, like the tracks were here, like this diagonal way. So 
no matter where you walked, you were always on the right side of the tracks because the picture kind of shifted as you went. So it was uh, another really very, cool. they had some people that, you know, if they'd have been artists instead of doing time, they, you know, might have had a little better life, I guess. Right. Um, yeah. 50 degrees in the prison. Uh, they didn't really have much heating. Uh, so we went out to the prison yard and uh, we were asking you know, how much time did they actually get and could they use it year round and they're like well it was only 50 degrees in the prison so they would suffer the cold to be out in the yard and play baseball and uh, do other that. activities mm -hmm. um, so very cool old prison no, no longer <laughs> they had in a, use they had a good baseball prison team until one of them got shanked and it ended the catcher's career I think it was <laughs> yeah you know you lose your star player when he gets shanked uh, so also, uh, we, we had a night out, uh, did some bar hopping, bar hopping. Um, learned about the Pickle Rick. <gasps> it was so delicious! <laughs> I have to make it. Um, it's it's a, a gentle, well, the bartender there watches Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty, I don't, yeah. I don't know what that is, but something about a drink or pickles or something there. So anyway, he just, he created this where it's uh, pepperoncinis and kosher dill pickles and vodka and you put those together i got the recipe yay and then you let it it has to marinate for like three weeks before it's ready oh it was heavenly yeah. and anytime you best. ordered one the bartender or server did one with, did you, one with you so uh they were not sober at that bar um but that was fun we, we started there yeah um, we went to that was the pepper the, mill. The pepper we mill the pepper and mill. Cactus Jack's. It was kind oh, of a restaurant yeah. bar, same place, but two different names. So oh, and they had bang, a, bang. they had a cool in between the it was all connected, but in between the restaurant and the bar, they had a section for darts. Um, they had indoor cornhole. They had jenga, and they could clear um, it all out and make it the disco too. It, it yes, had it had the lights and, and everything set so. up for bands and stuff. Uh, so fun we, bar. Yeah, uh, we went to a place called the Hole in the Wall. Mm -hmm. uh, it very much was uh, kind of a hole in the wall. There was only a couple people when we went there, so not a happening time uh, yeah. there. Yeah, had a drink and left. Then we um, went to the... Um, Rifleman. Rifleman. The Rifleman That's was one of the fun. oldest bars there. It was so cool. Just a ton of... Uh, anything historical, mostly yeah. like hunting related, but uh, yes. they actually have like a wagon. Uh, Full-size wagon. Full-size wagon up, up on the deck above the restaurant or yeah, the or kitchen or whatever area, it was. Yeah, yeah. Um, and all of these just really small, still smoking them, cash bars, um, beers are, you know, buck, buck and a quarter. Yeah. Um, so it was very cool to, to have that. Uh, we also went to the office, bar and grill, and, <laughs> and thrift, thrift shop. shop. Uh, that <laughs> was, was an experience. Cents. It was 99 cents. <laughs> Uh, people, I guess, owned the thrift shop next door and the bar, but a lot of merchandise had gone over to the bar, mm -hmm. um, so you could get drunk and walk out with a welding mask and a stroller we if a you wanted to. Or popping up, <laughs> well, popping up now, you can see, and um, it blocked one of the dartboards, and uh, yeah, if you needed a car seat, very odd. It was so odd. Yeah, um, yeah, it didn't. We ate there too, and not the best oh, food ever but uh, yeah. definitely something go there and see that oh, you uh, but don't plan on shop yeah bar. the thrift shop bar um that's <laughs> what they should call it <laughs> yeah can't make that stuff up all right so <laughs> that's uh kind of week one from rollins oh, we did go but... to the little wine liquor store they have a lot of drive through ones there so oh, yeah. that was nice but we actually went in because i wanted to buy some wine that was local to wyoming so i i got the uh chris la do it um, and it was pretty dang good wine, so yeah. impressed with that. We did have a wine night that we don't need to discuss. Um, yeah. Uh, do we have any random questions? Oh. Um, would you, I know we had one, uh, I think TJ sent in. Would you rather fight one duck size, no, one horse size duck or a hundred duck size horses? If a woodchuck could chuck wood, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck? <laughs> <laughs> I These guess are, I would uh, rather fight a hundred ducks. Was that my option? Uh, a horses hundred, the size of a duck? A hundred duck size horses. Oh, no, I'd rather do a... One, one horse size duck. duck. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Now we could... That get it up. Right. Okay, I want the other. The hundred. I'm going to take the, the duck. 
I think I could just do like that old, uh, what was the duck? Daffy Duck. Remember the guy used to just slap the bill right off his face in the cartoons? <laughs> <I'm sure it worked. laughs> so I'm going to go just for that. Just like for that. It. I'm uh, looking really quick. Other random question we had was uh, if you could have a superpower, what would your superpower be? Oh, that's right. We did have that one. Um... <laughs> I'll go first. Okay. Let me go first. Okay. Yeah. I'd like to just have like an extra eye, uh, like on the palm of my hand or one of the tip of my fingers, and then I could just like look around corners and stuff and i think that would be kind of cool hmm. that's, i don't know if that's, that's a real good. superpower but. Well, it's on your hand and you can go 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 gadget eye thing around the corner or something i guess that is it's better than being able to like see through wood okay well then there went mine um <laughs> flying sure I you guess flying you wouldn't yeah. have to book for travel for work anymore, you could just fly wherever you're going. Oh, I wouldn't have to sit by people on planes. Seems like if you could fly, you could, you know, yeah. make a job out of that too. Sell yeah. some t-shirts or something. True. Right. Yeah, right. I, I really have one, so yeah, I guess that. So those are the random your questions for queen. the week. <laughs> All right, uh, so that's uh, week one from Rollins. Wendy Rollins. Wendy Rollins. Yeah, we'll tell you some more about that next week. Like a uh, very windy place. Uh, so mm -hmm. that's it for week one. Uh, we'll be back with week two and tell you how the second half of Rollins went. Yes. And so we're not going anywhere this week. We're just staying where we're we staying are. Staying put. All right. So, uh, again, obrigado! <laughs> Travel dirty! dirty.